Hello, it's Art by Kendra Scott here. Hashtag the mad watercolorist. Just popping in with a little bit of um, practice paper to show you guys. I was just cleaning up my supplies and I ran across some of these. It's a piece of the ones I have. I have a lot more actually. And I thought I'd share them. It's kind of um, some steps along my art journey that they just vary throughout from beginning to end and I'll just kind of give you a general time frame. I started in December 2016 and mostly did watercolor for like the whole next year and then I got into mixed media and art journaling and I have all these journals now I'm working on like my 10th one. Some of them I bought, some of them I made and seven of them are full so I'm just like super into it. I love it. Art is life. And without further ado, I'll proceed to show you some of these pieces. This was a bookmark I did early on. I kind of love all the little dots. It was fun. I don't really do that control to the style anymore. And this was a reference off Pinterest. I love the shiny, but I don't like the way that stem goes right through the flower. So it's a pretty good size piece, regular eight by five, around maybe nine by 12. These are from a mixed media pad. Probably these are Canson watercolor, not mixed media. Flamingos, I did these as practice for a piece I gave to my sister-in-law for her birthday. A little yucky thing that I really don't care for. I really love these colors. I must have been color testing or maybe just flopping down some color. I don't know. And this is a texture. You can hear. Oh, no, that's paint. It's not texture. I really love the yellow and the green. I don't know. It's just gorge colors. And these flowers. I like these. Love. Must have been around Valentine's Day. Yeah, I like how they came out. They were fun and pretty. And this is my hand, which I traced and then painted, trying to work on the values and shading. And I love the little fine lines for the um, palm because uh, I had just got my rigger brush and it was fun to play with. Oh, and on the back, it's a little witchy lady. I was working on some faraway figures, some flowers, some colors watching down there, some Christmas practice. I don't know if that's popping up on your screen, but it's my Facebook Messenger. Sorry if it did. Um, yeah, Christmas. Also Christmas trees, all different sorts. Christmas ornament. A very early galaxy. Oh no, it's so early, it's my son's. He did this. This is my Ricky, he did that. Practicing out, that was my ink pad. I should cut those out. Those are cool. I do plan on doing something with all of these. Well, all, as opposed to maybe a few that I really will just have to trash. Like, I, I don't know about that. It's all chalky. I don't like it. These are okay, but they're also chalky. And this is when I tried to sell my bookmarks. It was 2017. And I feel like I've came a long way with watercolor because I mean, there's not a bit of white paper on here, and that's like a cardinal rule. Although I'm not quite an art rule follower, but you have to leave white spaces or it looks flat, and I overworked it, but that's okay. I mean, I'd only been doing it for like three months, or four, maybe five. Yes, roundabouts. This was near the end of the school year. My kid was in school. Yeah, that's then. I like this a lot. That was super fun. I like the I like the look of that. It's cool. V. I wonder what that was for. Oh, I was really into hearts. Oh, I love that shimmer. Metallics. Oh, yeah. See, this is how excited this makes me. I mean, it's like life. Paper. Junk. bookmark that I didn't sell. I don't really like it in hindsight. It's, I know better now, but it's still lovely. I still love myself for making it. Take me to your leader. 
Oh, this was something else. It was really just a blob of paint in the middle, like here. And then I just kind of looked at it and thought, oh, maybe that can be an alien. And that's sort of what happened. I still am fond of that. Pardon me, I'm gonna get a drink. I'm getting over a little cold. This was a, trying to recreate a painting I did for my mother-in-law. It did not come out right, and I do not like it. So, boom. This, you know, it's the same thing. It's just, I don't know. I didn't like the granulation in the paint for that particular rose. It was too dark all over. Boom. End of the stash. This was some practice. Now, it is fun little things. I like this practice a lot. And in particular, I love the way these colors are blended together here. They look cool. And, oh, a popsicle. This was last summer. Love it. I think it was last summer kind of hard to tell sometimes. So much art, so little time. And a little ice cream cone. Oh, fun times. Into that flower and that one. Eh, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, sort of little mountain range. That's fun. Little abstract swirlies. A heart. Oops. Dropped it. Feathers. I like the gray feather. Love. Oh, free. I really like the way that looks. What did I paint that with? I'm not sure what I put in there. Maybe I wrote it with a pen? Hmm, I don't have a purple pen. Could have been white and turned purple. Possibly. I'm going to have to use that. Nothing. No, this is recently. No, that's last summer. That's from a journal page I made called Everybody's Got a Secret. It's in one of my books over there on the shelf. Oh, you can't see them because of all my stuff blocking it at the moment. This must have been for a page. I cut out a phrase, I'm sure. Hashtag the Mad Watercolorist bookmark for myself. Put that over there. Now this is acrylic. I started getting into acrylic. Probably black gesso and blue acrylic. I thought it kind of looked peeply, but I'm not sure where to proceed, so it's in the stash. A not so great landscape. Blank. Oh, I'm practicing doors. I wonder what that's a door to. Looks kind of creepy. Kendra Scott. Little doors. Oh, and this door finally made the cut. It's in my Inktober collection, which I will have to uh, do a flip through of that. Flip through. Yep. Mm -hmm. I like that one. It was fun. Fun to do. Acrylics and watercolors all in one here. You can see the shine. Sketch practice. That's kind of cool. Nothing. Oh, this was for my little boy for Valentine's Day and his present. Now, this particular drawing is from a figure drawing class I went to. Well, face drawing. She had her clothes on and stuff. Um, that was my first go, which is horrendous. This is really not good. But here is the final one I ended up making big, which I guess is a considerable small improvement on the other two, but still, you know, portraits are tough for me. Her nose looks funny. It was the tail of her head I was trying to get, and it's not right. So anyways, that was still fun and still worth my time. Little flower arrangement. This was in the, in the Arts Council. I saw it on the shelf. I was done drawing her, and I thought, well, I'm going to draw some inanimate objects. And then I left shortly thereafter. This is some words from a journal um, entry with words that said she survived the storm. Ricky. Oh, Rick. That's my Rick. My baby cakes. My love. Oh, this is from Inktober. It's hashtag Inktober. I must have used this to test colors. That kind of looks like a little forest or something. Yeah. 
and this is my golden high flu acrylics indigo and white and I in particular love how they mix together right there in the middle I've used some of this for something else before but I can't quite remember I'm not sure what to do with it so it's in the stash oh here's a piece of it cool blank oh my boy somebody up on a pole walking up there I'm not sure what that's all about oh these just didn't come out probably hit the trash now this was fun Christmas 2017 it's a starfish a little forest Now, I've taken inspiration from so many YouTube channels. I mean, I have several favorites. The first one was the Frugal Crafter. She's super great. And then Marry Me Small Art. And Karen Campbell Artist. Jenny Belly. There's just so many. So many. Carolyn Doobie. Barb Owens. I mean, these ladies are so talented. I love all of their channels. And there are so many other great channels. It's a wonderful community especially for somebody like me like you know I have arthritis it's not easy for me to cart a bunch of art supplies around that way I can be a part of something without taxing my body outside of the things that I need to do for my family and myself for our life yeah anyways that's my spiel so that's why I like social media and I think it's cool that was fun that's pretty early on this is some layers I did with Payne's gray and I started to color it all in like an aquarium and then I got that far and thought I just don't like it to this day I wish I wouldn't have did that and it was all cohesive without that blue corner but it was fun good exercise and this is from follow Friday on Instagram you post up this and you know fellow artists are supposed to leave a comment and then somebody can follow them you can follow somebody it's just like you know community and that is Indian ink washed down with water and then I dropped in some alcohol ink and wrote the words with alcohol ink which is not meant for this paper but I thought it looked cool and it's kind of like not that I'm into bullets but it kind of looks like bullet marks and I thought well that's cool it's it's follow Friday let's hope everybody can get some hits and by hits I mean follows or likes to help your little channel on this huge algorithm this is Arch's paper. It's when I first got it. I super love the paper. You can see the texture and hear it. It's great paper. It really makes for nice work. These are carnation practice. I was trying to paint carnations. Oh, and there's some on the back too. Oh, hello. Color swatching for Lucas. Watercolors. very early painting so chalky I can barely touch it but it's not bad for early and I kind of like this the Sun peeking through the clouds that's cool and this I was gonna give to Flo Monroe so Flo Monroe if you're ever watching this paper or this video listen to me I would really like you to know that this was intended for you for so long and I'm so sorry I never sent it to you I'm really thinking I'm gonna do that when I take care of this stack I got it out so we'll see another follow Friday some watermelons which was fun I did a tutorial I can't remember who it was and this is some um, acrylics and some gel medium you can see where I brushed it on top I was probably gonna do something on top I'm not sure what it's very shiny but I'm definitely gonna use that for something it almost looks jelly printed I may stamp it put some clear gesso on it and stamp it put title on it this was fun first first couple pages at my arches paper when I first got it I love the way that yellow flower looks the connection to it not so much the stem but I love the flower and I always love this face this is bliss this is after I sold my first painting I mean I've only sold a few so but it was wonderful when I sold it and I was so excited you know just to make a little bit of money to go to the art store and get some paint it was great buy my kid a treat this was practice with masking fluid nothing on the back 
and I've got a journal entry with this title in it ever long upcoming in a future flip I'm thinking when I get a webcam I'm gonna do some some uh, time-lapse videos of me doing some work this was Christmas practice last year some little packages a tree some different kinds of trees some stamping a snowman just fun there's nothing on the back of this and then this is one of my recent it's really large if you can't tell it's a 16 by 20 it was for an art challenge and it's like a moody little forest and I really just gave titanium white a try. I just wanted to see what would happen if I dropped loads of it into wet water. And it kind of made like roiling clouds, which is my favorite part of the picture. So I do wish that this hadn't bled so much. It's a little too dark underneath, but that's okay. It's just for me. It's part of my, part of my journey, part of my stash. And then this is the last thing really. I enjoyed these colors a lot. They're always fun to use. Nothing on the back. A little scrap. I just want to say thanks so much for watching. I would show my face, but I wasn't prepared for this video, and I will do that next time. Thanks so much for watching this video by Art by Kendra Scott. Have a great day.